review text using animated brush strokes in this After Effects tutorial. Hi, my name is Manuel, I'm a freelance motion designer. Without any further ado, let's dive right in. First, we create a solid in our new comp. Then head over to Illustrator. I vectorized this brush stroke here. Now we copy all the paths, Command C, select our solid here in After Effects and simply paste them by pressing Command V. As you can see, all the paths have been converted into masks. Okay, position seems alright, let's rotate the solid a bit. Now we want to add some more detail to that plain solid shape by creating a texture. Let's press Command N, which automatically creates a new comp, and name it Matte. Command Y creates a new solid, let's make it white, doesn't really matter in this case, as we add turbulent noise. Let's mess around with the settings. Fractal type, swirly. Noise type, let's take spline. Invert the effect. Lower the contrast to around 30%. Let's go into transform and deactivate uniform scaling. Set the scale width to 600, the scale height to 8. The complexity to 6. Let's see what's in here. Turbulence Factor 4 seems to be good. Let's add the texture and see how it looks. We should name the solid. Next, we rotate the mat, minus 4 degrees, just like we rotated the stroke solid. We want all these lines in the texture to have the same direction as the stroke. Make sure it covers all of the shape, in this case it does. Now we use the mat comp as luma mat for our stroke solid. We want the luminosity of the texture to have an impact on the opacity of the solid. Finally, we have a quite realistic looking texture. It feels much more like paint now. Didn't I just name the layer? Strange. Let's animate the stroke. First, we need to find that pink mask, which is the big shape. We click on it, then scroll down and search for it. Here it is. We duplicate it by pressing Command D and give it a new mask color by clicking on that little square. Now we move it way down to the bottom. Let's set a keyframe for the path right at the beginning. If you press U, you'll only see properties with keyframes, which is the mask we want to animate. Let's move it above the stroke. Now we delete a whole bunch of points, basically all points except the left side. Okay, let's take that leftover and move it here to the right side of the stroke. Next we scale it up a little. And set the mask to intersect. And now we can use that mask to reveal the stroke. Move 10 frames to the right in the timeline, select all points except those two on the right and move them all the way to the left. Make sure the mask covers the stroke completely. We created a nice reveal with a lot of detail going on. Let's select those two keyframes and open the graph editor to smooth the animation. Make sure the snap icon is activated and edit speed graph is selected. Now we move these two points down to the line and drag these handles towards the inside. Until we get a curve like that. Slow at the beginning, speeding up, slowing down again. Let's choose the type tool and add some text. I used a font called Smoothie, which is an Adobe font. Type in whatever you want, then let's place it on the stroke, so that most of it is inside the stroke shape. Next we duplicate the stroke, move the layer to the top. By moving the layer it changed automatically into an alpha mask, which we want. Let's change the color to white. We just need to click off that little eye here to make it invisible. 
which makes the text visible on the painted background only. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments below. On the left side I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. Hope that tutorial was useful for you all. See you next time guys. Bye!